I'm pleased to say that the Shadow Education Secretary, Bridget Philipson, is with us now. Uh, Bridget Philipson, good morning to you. Thanks for being with good us. Morning. We'll pick up on some of that Tory infighting in a moment. But first of all, where's Keir Starmer? Uh, well, I think like everyone, Keir Starmer is entitled to a holiday. That's perfectly fine. Uh, you'll be hearing a lot more from us soon um, about uh, the additional support that we need to put in place for families. I mean, we've said an awful lot. I mean, we've been consistently ahead of the government um, in setting out the action that families need right now. You know, the numbers are terrifying, but what I hear from people about how worried they are about what's coming. You know, we've been saying an emergency budget was needed for months. We would cut VAT on gas and electricity bills. We wouldn't have put up people's taxes. We wouldn't have cut universal credit. We would be planning for the long term as well around our energy security. So you've heard a lot from Labour but you will hear more. Do you think that message is cutting through, though? Because we've heard Gordon Brown saying it over the weekend. You're telling me now. I spoke to Alison McGovern as well just the other day, but we're not hearing from the leadership. Uh, we recognise that more is needed. I think we are entering a really serious and difficult point of this crisis, but this cost of loan crisis, I mean, it's clearly getting worse. The numbers that we see are really, really concerning, and I hear from people all the time, pensioners who are worried about what the winter holds, parents who tell me that they're skipping on meals so their kids don't go without. I mean, you know, this is Britain in the 21st century and it is a damning indictment of 12 years of Conservative government that we're in a position where families are facing this massive squeeze, where more children are in poverty. And Gordon Brown is completely right uh, to highlight that. I mean, you know, we saw what he did from government. We saw that the action that Labour took to lift people out of poverty, to provide well-paid, highly skilled jobs. But the government's failure over these last 12 years, where it comes to renewable energy and new nuclear, that's meant that we are uniquely exposed as a country. We haven't had that long-term planning. If we'd had that, we'd be in a much, much stronger position as a country. I mean, you've seen the reporting that we could be facing blackouts this winter. Uh, what's your response to that? And what would a Labour government be doing to try and make sure that we didn't well, suffer blackouts? Well, I seriously hope it doesn't come to that. But I think it is shocking that after 12 years, we haven't had the investment in renewables. In fact, we saw Liz Truss just, just yesterday dismissing renewables, you know, deriding that kind of investment. We haven't had the investment. We haven't had new nuclear. We haven't had insulation of homes. 19 million drafty homes right across our country. If we take an action to insulate those homes and Labour would take action right now, we would see £400 off the energy bills of families. That's a massive, massive difference. But also it's a really important opportunity, I think, for us to create well-paid, highly skilled jobs across our country. We do face that climate emergency. We heard just about the heat wave that we've got coming as well. But it's also an opportunity to provide new, great jobs in places where, you know, that work is desperately, desperately needed. And how would it all be paid for? I mean, the windfall tax, you managed to bounce them into doing that. It seems like they're going to expand it today from the discussions they're having. Um, what about Ed Davies' idea of putting, of not bringing in the price capital? Well, I think, you know, we should look at op options that are there. You know, I, I would look seriously at any options that would provide immediate support to families. But I tell you, it's a bit hard to take lectures from Ed Davey. He was Secretary of State, uh, responsible for energy and climate change in the Conservative Lib Dem government. It was his government's failure to plan for the long term, to deliver a new generation of nuclear power stations, to insulate our homes that cut back on renewable energy that has left us in this position yeah, right as now. A, as a leader of a party, he's out with the big ideas. Your leader's on holiday. No, you will be hearing a lot more, I can tell you. We've been consistently ahead of the curve. Since last autumn, we were saying we needed a windfall tax. We've been saying we need an emergency budget for months. I've been coming on programmes like this for a long time saying what was needed. We've set out lots of plans, whether it's extra help around breakfast clubs, extra support around childcare for our younger children, not cutting universal credit, VAT cut on gas and electricity bills, not going ahead with a national insurance rise. But we've got a government completely absent, a zombie government, you know, a prime minister who wants to hang around, stick it out, call himself prime minister, but not take the difficult decisions that are needed. And the two uh, contenders for the Tory leadership contest just taking lumps out of each other when I speak to people who tell me, how on earth am I going to get through this winter? How am I going to pay my bills? Labour would take that seriously. We would take action, not just taking cheap shots as the okay. Conservative contenders are right now. Now, you know that some of your constituents are really worried, as you, as you rightly lay out, and some of them would have signed up to this Don't Pay UK movement, and it seems to be growing all the time. This is an idea of not paying your bills come October the 1st. What's your advice to those people who, who say they won't be paying their bills? Well, I think it's terrible that we're in this position where people are even considering that. Um, but, of course, we all have responsibility um, to pay our bills. But I know for lots of families, 
that's going to be really, really tough. We see the growing demand at food banks, including from people who are in work. Food banks actually who tell me that they're seeing reduced donations because people can't even afford to donate to food banks and where people are turning down goods that require them to cook them at home because they don't have the money uh, to cook the food that they're being given from food banks. So I think it is shocking that we're in a position now in modern Britain where so many children, so many families and so many pensioners are desperately worried and we will see rising levels of poverty across our country. Britain can and should be a lot, lot better than this, but we need a government on our side making that happen. Now, we've um, had the announcement that we're going to see strikes coming from rural male workers. Um, nurses are going to be um, um, balloting to see whether they strike as well in the coming months. Do the Labour Party think that they will lose votes if they fully get behind striking workers? Well, I, I, I want to be the Education Secretary in the next Labour government, so I see my responsibility as not about standing on picket lines, but about trying to find a way through all of this. And I think I understand completely the pressures that workers are facing right now. I've heard from lots of Royal Mail and BT workers, for example, in my community, who are really worried about how they're going to pay all these bills and want to see a decent pay settlement from their employer. I think that's why it's absolutely vital that the employer and the unions get around the table and that the government make sure that we get those kinds of settlements in place. And where it comes to our public sector workers, you know, take teachers, for example, over the last 12 years, they've faced massive real terms cuts in their pay. So I understand with the rising workload and the pressures that they're facing, they want better. I totally understand that. They'd like to see more support from the Labour Party, I think. Some... Well, working people in our country will always have the support of the Labour Party. That's what we're about. We were a party founded to represent the interests of working people across our country. But it does mean taking responsible decisions about making sure that people get around the table and trying to find a way through this. Okay, Bridget Phillipson, Shadow Education Secretary, really appreciate talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.